Welcome to Remdeforce video tutorial. In this video, we'll explain how to troubleshoot a Salesforce approval process. In this, we'll explain the below demo. If an user is submitting a record for an approval, he is getting no applicable approval process found error. And the second demo is uh, the approval request is automatically get rejected. Let's move to the demo part. Navigate to the Remedyforce console and navigate to setup and, and search for approval process and open the approval process. So in this, I have created an approval process for demo where the entry criteria is category equals to hardware. Then it will submit for approval. So let's create a new record to explain this demo. And this criteria is hardware. So first I will deactivate this so that it will not found any approval process. Click on detail section. In the approval history, click on submit for approval. You'll see a pop-up message of error will display like no applicable approval process found. It There are no approval process with these conditions. So let's activate this approval process which has a condition of hardware. And now reload this form and click on submit for approval. We will see the approval has been submitted successfully without any error message. And now for explaining the second point like the approval request is automatically get rejected. I will activate one more process that I have created for testing purpose. So here you can see if the incident category equals to software then this approval process is fired and if category equals to hardware then it will automatically go to reject. So for this, let's create a record software as a category. The demo record is created, 953. Now click on details and submit for approval. You can see once I click on submit for approval, the record assigned to actual approver, but it's automatically get rejected. It, it is executing this is approval step where category equals to hard, then only it will go to approval, else it will reject. So to make this work, I will change this entry criteria. Okay, now let's reload this page and click on submit. Here you go. We are able to successfully submit a record for approval. This concludes how to troubleshoot a Salesforce approval process. I hope this video was informative and thanks for watching it.